Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hey, hello. My name is Meg and we do crafty things here. If you like crafty things, please consider subscribing. Right now it's summer, we're predominantly doing friendship bracelets, but that'll change come into the colder seasons. Anyways, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing and tuning in to another video. So today we are going to do another bracelet and I posted on my Instagram last night a poll between two different alpha flower tutorials to do today because since my shark tutorial, I will post a link in the description and the cards for that if you are interested. I've been getting requests to do alpha tutorials and I definitely will do more for you guys. I know that there's not a ton of alpha tutorials um, around there that kind of go through everything, the whole pattern. So I don't mind doing them. Just know that they can't be every video because they do take a long time to make. Generally, it's like for the shark video, that was a very small pattern, but that was like an hour and a half hour 45 minutes of footage and then I had to break it down and that's still like an hour long video. So it just takes a long time to uh, film and edit but I do plan on making more but in between uh, there will be shorter videos posted. I just I, I physically can't keep up with just alpha patterns. So anyways I posted on Instagram and the pattern you guys wanted to see as a video tutorial was pattern number 18896 from Bracelet Book and it was uploaded by a user named Greta and it is a cute little daisy pattern and I think just judging by the daisies I think it was kind of based on John Green's Looking for Alaska but I don't have enough white or black left to do it as Daisy. So what we're gonna, I'm gonna do brown eyed Susans. And if you're like, what the heck's brown eyed Susan? I'll insert a picture so you can see. But they are um, like sunflower colors, but they're kind of more like a Daisy sort of look from afar. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. And this pattern that we are looking at is 14 strings wide. So we're gonna need 15 strings all together. And first thing we're gonna do is we're going to need to cut our base strings. So to do this craft, you are going to need something to anchor to. Today, we are at the kitchen table again, folks. So I will be using tape for today's tutorial and I will just be taping to this here journal. You will also need your string. So like I said, I'm gonna do brown eyed Susans. So they are yellow with a brown center. And then I'm gonna give a go a color changing string again. Uh, a friend just gave me a small pack that she had used for like one little craft thing and there's a whole bunch of string left in it. So I thought I'd try this color shifting green. I think it might look cool. So we're gonna give that a go as our background color. And then of course, because we are working with string, you'll also need a pair of scissors. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take my tape and of course you could use a safety pin, you could use a clipboard, whatever you prefer. And I'm going to tape it with the corner over here and I'm going to flip it so it's sticky side up and just fold the other edge down like so, so I can lay my strings out on top of it. So because if we're looking at this pattern here, because predominantly the color we're using is uh, white and then just our background color, I'm going to make my base strings the color of my petals. And so for me, that is going to be yellow. So I'm going to need 14 yellow strings. Um, and I don't think there's a lot of knotting going on with them. So I'm probably, going to do an arm's length again. I don't, probably don't even need an arm's length, but I'm gonna go with an arm's length and we're gonna cut those strings. Okay, so here are my 14 base strings and now I am going to lay them across my tape here. This time I'm gonna just kind of lay them all on here and spread them out. You want your strings to be right up against each other 
so that you don't have any weird gaps in the start of your bracelet. So just keep that in mind while you're laying these out. You can lay them out individually or you can do like I've done and lay them all down and then just spread them. Okay, so I've got all of my base color stuck to my tape here. I have enough string for my ties at the end. I'm just going to cut a long thread of our background color. So I'm just going to line this up with the other threads here. And I like to start from the left, so I'm going to put this to the left hand side of my strings. And then I'm going to take my tape again and I want a piece that is longer than this folded half. And I'm going to try and line it up as closely as possible to the bottom of the sticky side up tape. And that'll just give us a nice crisp edge to knot against at the beginning. And now I'm going to just lay out these strings nice and flat and add some more tape to the top of this. Okay, so the first thing we see on our pattern is four rows of our background color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, because I'm starting on the left-hand side and I'm working left to right, it's going to be forwards knots that we're making. So again, to do a forwards knot, I'll move you guys a little more center here, you're going to create a four shape with your knotting string over your base string, and then you're going to pull the loose end of your knotting string through the loop, and you can see I cut my knotting string really, really long. Probably a bad idea, but it's an alpha pattern, so it will shorten out pretty quick here. There's one, and we need to do that a second time. And there's two. And we're gonna do that all the way across. So like last time, I think I'm gonna start out about where we are so you guys can see um, how I'm doing the knots and then we'll zoom in a bit so you can see the pattern better. And when we change colors, I will zoom out so you can see where I'm putting the strings. And there's the first row. Okay, so now we're on the right hand side. To go right to left, we are going to do backwards knots across all of these strings. And to do a backwards knot, we are going to hold our base string tight and make a backwards four or a sailboat sail around our base string and then tie, or sorry, and then pull our loose end of our knotting string through once and then twice to complete the backwards knot. Or scrunch all your string up against it. <laughs> and you're gonna do that across all of your strings. Okay, so now we're on the left again. We're going to do forwards knots, working left to right. Okay. 
Okay, and then we're going to do backwards knot back, across, going right to left. And then we'll start getting into our flowers. And yes, I am aware this is like knotted up right now, but I'm bunched it in a ball to try and keep it away from my cats who are sitting at my feet waiting for it to fall so they can tear it to shreds and slobber on it and make it gross. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, I'm eating like spicy noodles on the side and my nose is dripping. But yeah, so I did the vote for this pattern on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should definitely pop over there and check it out because I do post in my stories, uh, for what bracelets I should make next, if you want to see what I'm looking at, if you want to see what I'm working on, and if you also want to see or have an opportunity to pick the next tutorial pattern, you guys should pop over there because that stuff does show up on my Instagram page. Um, I can't make it a community post yet because I think to make community posts you have to have at least a thousand subscribers and we aren't there yet. So if you want to keep up to date with things, check out my Instagram. Okay, so this is the first row where we're going to introduce our first color. So working left to right, we are going to do six of our background colors, so our green. Then we're gonna do two yellow knots and then six of our background color again. So here we go, we're going to do, working left to right, we're going to do forwards knots. So we need six forwards knots. Ooh, I'm getting this tangled up. One, two, three, five and six and now because we made our base strings our petal color we are now going to do backwards knots around this knotting string so we're going to pick out our next yellow that we haven't tied around in this row yet there we go and we're going to do a background uh, backwards knot around our knotting string. Okay, so we do one and then two. And you just want to make sure when you're pulling your knots, because we are knotting around our, essentially our background string here, our knotting string. Get out of here. Um, you want to pull it almost horizontal if you can, or just on an angle, to get that knot up as close as possible to the row above it. And we'll do that for our second knot. Just like that. And then finish out the row, doing forward knots again with our background color. Okay. 
I was actually a little bit surprised that this is the one that people wanted to see more than the other. Um, just because this one is fairly simple. There's not a lot of color changes or anything in it. And the other one actually had more colors and more color changes, which I don't know, to me, I guess I thought the more color changes, people would want to see that process a bit more, but I guess not. You guys wanted to, or those of you that do follow me, wanted to see this one. So maybe we will do the other one next. It was little like rosettes. So maybe we will do that next, we'll see. So now we're going to work right to left, and this line reads two of our background color, two petal color, two background color, two petal color, two background color, two petal color, and then two background. So because we're working right to left, we're going to do two backwards knots. one and there's two and now we are going to grab the next base string and we're going to do a backwards knot around our knotting string so there's one And we need two in our background color. And remember guys, if you see your knot starting to get warped, don't be afraid to stick your fingers in there and pull on the other strings and stuff. Cause if you wait until the next row, you're gonna have a row of knots there um, stopping you from fixing that previous row. So if you see something that looks amiss, stop immediately and try and fix it. Whether that means undoing the knot or just pulling some strings and adjusting it, you're better to do it as soon as you notice it than try to fix it later, because chances are you won't be able to fix it later. Okay, so we've done two of our petal color, and now we need to do two of our background color. So we're going back to our backwards knots. I'm sorry, I think I said we did backwards knots with that petal color. You do the opposite of whatever your knotting string is doing, so they would have been forwards knots. I apologize for that because I think I mixed them up. And then we're going to go back to our petal color and we are going to do forwards knots. So the opposite of what we just did with our knotting string, with our base string, because we want our knotting string to move over the next knot so we can continue with it down our row. And then we're going to do forwards knots around our knotting string again and again when you're tying this you want to pull this string almost sideways because essentially you're knotting around a horizontal string because it's going right underneath these knots so if you have it down here you'll get a weird string in between your knots in your row and that's not cute and we want this to be cute you know Okay, so now we're going to do two more of our background. Oh my gosh. There we go. There's one. So there we are, a backwards knot and a second backwards knot. And now we need to do two in our petal color. So we're gonna pull out that next yellow and we're going to do forwards knots. Two forwards knots, so there's one. And there's two. And then finish out the row with our knotting string. 
doing backwards knots. So now we'll be working left to right, and our next row is two background knots, three petal color, one background, two petal, one background, three petal, two background. So here we go. Sorry. So because we're working left to right, we are doing forwards knots. So there's one, are both of them here? Oh, both my cats are sitting under the table waiting for the string to come down. Okay, so there's two of our background color and now we need to do three of our petal color. So again, you're gonna tie your base strings around your knotting string the opposite direction of whatever way you're going. So we were just doing forwards knots, which means our base strings are going to do backwards knots around our knotting string. And we need three of them. So there's one. And three. And now we're going to do one forwards knot with our background color. And now we're going to do two backwards knots with our petal color. That green did not tighten as much as I wanted it to on the last knot there. Okay. There's one and two. Just like that. And then we're going to do one knot with our background color. So that's a forwards knot. And then we're going to do three backwards knots with our petal color. So there's one. two, and three, and then we're going to finish out these last two knots, forwards knots, with our knotting string. Okay, so now we're going to work right to left, and this line is will be three green knots, two yellow knots, two green knots, one yellow knot, one green knot, two yellow knots, and three green knots. So here we go, we're working right to left, so our knotting string is doing a backwards knot. So we're gonna start, there's one. There's two. And 
and there's three. And now we're going to do two petal color. So we're going to do forwards knots. There's one. And there's two. And then we're going to do two of our background string again. So we're doing backwards knots as we're working right to left. Do you ever have those days where your string just seems to catch on everything and not on everything? That seems to be today. Like, uh, what has even happened? What is happening? <laughs> okay, there we go. There. And now we need one petal color. So that's going to do a forwards knot around our green. There's one. And then we're going to do one background knot. And so it's going to be a backwards knot with our background color here. There we go. And then we need two of our petal color. So that's going to be forwards knots. There's one. And two. And then we're going to finish out this row with our background string doing backwards knots. one there's two and there is three okay so now we're gonna work left to right and this row is five of our background knot so it's five background knot two petal one background knot one petal and then five of our background color so we're working left to right it's going to be forwards knots with our background color so here we go there's one Four. And five. <laughs> Can you guys hear the ice cream truck? The window's open. <laughs> So we've done five background knots and now we need to do two of our petal color. So we're going to do backwards knots. So one, two, 
and two. And now we need one forward knot with our background color. Then one knot with our petal color. So that's one backwards knot. And then the rest of the row, we're gonna finish out with just our background color doing forwards knots. There we go. Okay, and now we're gonna go right to left. And this row, we introduce a new color. So we're gonna do one background knot. Then we're going to do five of our petal color, two of our, I'm gonna do brown for our, um, the center of our flower. And then we're gonna do two of our background knot, three petal color, and one background knot. And we are, halfway through our flower. So there is one knot. And now we need to do five forwards knots because again, we're working right to left with our base string. So there's one three four and five. And now we are going to introduce our center color. So for me, I'm going to do brown. So I have my brown string here already and we need to anchor that in. So I'm using tape to anchor my strings. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab some tape and I'm gonna zoom you guys out so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got some tape here. Oh, don't fall over on yourself. And I'm just going to hold up my strings here and just kind of move them to the side. And I'm going to tape in this brown string just over here. There we go. And then I'm gonna fold these back down and we're going to push our green knotting string up out of the way. This is because we're introducing a new knotting string. So if we were to knot around this green string, we would add a knot to our bracelet. And yeah, I see you down there. <laughs> and it would make the outside of our bracelet go as we know from the last alpha tutorial. Definitely a thing. Uh, definitely the technical term for it. But um, <laughs> here we go. So we have pushed our green string up and out of the way.
right out of the way. I'm not using it. There's no way I can mistake tying around it. And I'm going to pull my brown string up in where I just pushed my green string back. So we're gonna act as if this brown string was our green string and we're going to do our next knots. So we need two of our center color. So we're gonna go ahead and we're working right to left. So it's backwards knots. Just like that. And you, I'll zoom you in a bit here so maybe you can see. You can kind of see the loop from the back of this brown because we've just brought it in. So I'm going to lift up the edge of my bracelet here and I'm just gonna push this loop back a bit so it's not caught on that yellow and it's not gonna show in the front of our bracelet. There we go. Okay. Swing. Zoom you guys back out so you can see here. And I'm going to grab my next string and again, acting just like we're using our green string still. We're gonna make another backwards knot. There we are. And now we're done with the brown for this row. So we're going to push it back towards the green. And we're gonna pull the green in underneath our brown string. And it's very important you pull it in underneath whatever color you're pushing back. That's just because it will lock this string in a loop underneath on the back side of your bracelet so that you don't get any weird gaps um, in between the knots and stuff. If you definitely don't want weird gaps, that's, it's not cute, okay? So we're going to pull our green string in exactly where we pushed our brown string out and carry on as normal. So at this point, we need two of our background string of our background color, sorry. So we're going to do backwards knots again because we're working right to left and this green is now our knotting string again. So there's one. And two. There's one knot. And there's two. Okay, and now we need three of our petal color. So that's going to do forwards knots around our knotting string. There's two. There's three. And then our last knot is going to be with our background color doing a backwards knot. Okay, sorry guys, next day here. So we're gonna jump back in where we were. So we are on the left side of our bracelet working left to right and we're pretty much right at the middle point of our pattern. So let's go left to right here. We're gonna do one background knot, five of our petal color, two of our center color, two of our background knot, three of our petal color, and one of our background knot. So here we go. So with my backgrounds, I'm just going to do um, forwards knots because we're working left to right. Now I think like I said this pattern is originally shown as daisies and I think like the original Looking for Alaska by John Green, I think the original cover had these sort of daisies on it or a daisy on it. I actually really loved that book. I think it was my favorite John Green book. What about you guys? 
Um, now we're just switching to our petal color. We're gonna do five knots in our petal color. And remember, because we are working left to right, it's going to do the opposite of our knotting string. So it's going to be doing backwards knots. Um, yeah, I think it was my favorite, and that includes The Fault in Our Stars. Um, Looking for Alaska was really, really good. I loved that book. But my cover just has, I think, uh, like a plume of smoke on it. So I'm not sure. Which, like, do you guys like to read? And if you do, are you into John Green? Let me know. Oh, the cats have come back to visit. The string is flying. They must stick their nose in it. Okay, so there is our five petal knots. Now we're going to push our green string to the back and do two of our center color. So I'm pushing my green string to the back because I'm working left to right. I'm gonna push it up towards the right. And then I'm going to bring the brown string down right into that same position where we just pushed the green out of. And I'm gonna go ahead and do forwards knots as if I was working with my regular knotting string. So we're gonna go one, and two, And now I'm done with that center string, so I'm going to push it up to the right. And now remember when you change colors, you wanna push your string, your current knotting string up, and you wanna bring in your new knotting string underneath that color. And that just locks in that loose end and prevents gaps and stuff in your bracelet. Okay, so now we need two of our background knot here. One, I'm sorry if the lighting kind of changes. Today's been a little weird. It was really bright and sunny and then it all of a sudden got really dark and dreary and now it's kind of getting sunny again, but there hasn't been any rain or anything. So I don't know if that's coming or what, but. If the lighting changes, that's why. Okay, what am I doing? I don't need to push this back. Okay, now we've done our two background knots. We need to do three of our petal color. So again, that is just backwards knots. So there is one. There's two. And there is three. And then we're going to do a background color to finish this off, just doing a forwards knot with this green. Okay, now we're gonna work right to left. We are over halfway through our pattern now. Whoop, whoop. And we're going to do five of our background color, two of our petal color, one of our background color, one of our petal color, and then five of our background color. So here we go. There's one. There's two. There's three. And four. And five. Okay, now we've done our five background knots. We need to do two of our petal color. So I'm going to grab the next yellow. Sorry, that was hiding underneath kind of weird. 
And I thought I might have tied around it already. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to do forwards knots now because we are working right to left. So our knotting string was doing backwards knots. So there's one and two. Now we're going to do one backwards knot with our background color. There we are. And then one knot of our petal color. And then we're gonna finish out this row with our background string, just doing background, background knots, <laughs> backwards knots. I keep doing that every time. I did that in the uh, shark video too. So also, as I was saying at the start here, I uploaded two options to Instagram and asked which I should do a video tutorial on. And one was like little roses and then there was this one which was little daisies and I just wondered what kind of patterns do you guys want to see if there's something specifically that you want to see a tutorial for uh, let me know down below just leave the pattern number and whichever site it's off of and I will look at it I can't guarantee I can do all of them because um, like as it is, I'm on the second day for this one and it's not a big pattern um, just because I don't have a lot of time to, that's quiet enough to film. So if it's like a whole bracelet, um, it might take me a long time to do. So I may or may not do it. But if you guys have suggestions for little characters or little images, I'll leave them down below and I will take a look at them and see what we can do. Okay, so now we're working left to right. We're going to do three of our background color, two of our petal color, uh, two of our background, one of our petal, one of our background, two of our petal, and three of our background. So here we go doing three of our background color. So there's one, here's two, And here's three. Now we're going to do two of our petal color. And because we're working left to right, that's going to be doing backwards knots. So there is one. and two, and now we're going to do two of our background color. There's one, and here's two. And then we need one petal color. Then one background color. Ooh, you see what I mean? This is exactly what I was talking about. Can I zoom you guys in more? No. Can I show you? So if we look here, sorry, the tripod is in the way. I can't get you guys any closer. But if we look here, I didn't pull my green string horizontal enough and now you can see the there we go now you can see the string in between the rows so I'm gonna undo that knot uh, half undo it and just pull the first half tighter and pull my green string a little more to the side I can't get a hold of it here. There we go. Okay. So try 
try that again. There we go, that looks better. Okay. Um, where were we here? One of our petal color, one of our background color. And then two of our petal color, and then the rest will be finished out with our background color. So there's one. There's two. And then we're gonna finish out with our background color. Okay, so now going right to left, we're going to do two of our background color, three petal color, one background color, two petal color, one background color, three petal color, two background. So, oh, trying to ball this up and keep it away from the cat again, and now it's all knotted. There's one. And there's two. And now we need three of our petal color. There's one. I'm going to split them a bit, adjust them as I see they need to be adjusted. There we go, there's three. Now we need one background knot. Two of our petal color. One background knot. three of our petal color, and then finish out the last two knots with our background color. There's one. There's two. And there's three. And then we're gonna to switch to our background color for these last two knots. Okay, and now we're in the second last row of the pattern here, of the flower, I should say. So next we're going to work left to right, doing two background, two petal, two background, two petal, two background, two petal, two background. So there's one and two. Now we need 
two petals. So because we're working left to right, again, our petals are going backwards knots. Our background string is going forwards knots. So one and two. Then we're going to do two forwards knots with our background string. There's one. And two. And then two of our petal color. Doing backwards knots, there's one. And two. Two forwards knots with our background color. There's one. And two. And then two backwards knots with our petal color. One and two. And then we're going to finish our row with forwards knots, which is our background string. See, what I think is funny is I haven't used a color changing string in a long time because I don't like my string changing <laughs> colors in the middle of my pattern. So I was like, well, maybe I'll give it another try, use it as a background color. And I'm not entirely sure that I wouldn't have liked this better with just a solid green in the background, but is what it is, I guess. Too late to change it now. What do you guys think about color changing string? I'm just not sure. <laughs> Okay, so now we are on the last row of our flower here. So we're going to do six of our background color, two petal, and then six background. So we're working right to left. That means our knotting string is doing backwards knots. So there's one. Two. four, five, six, And then we need two of our petal color. So because we're working right to left, our petal color is now doing forwards knots around our uh, background knotting string. So there's one. And two. And then we're gonna finish out the row with our background string. So what do you guys prefer to do when you knot your bracelets? Do you listen to music? Do you listen to audiobooks? Do you watch TV or movies? Or do you just sit and do your bracelet? Do you watch YouTube? Let me know. Last night I finished the book I was listening to while I was knotting a different bracelet. And then I tried to get back into Stranger Things I know everyone loves Stranger Things, or seems to. I watched season one and like, it was good, it was okay, but it wasn't like, blow your mind to me. So I never actually got around to the second season. So I started like the first episode of the second season and I just didn't have the patience to sit through it. So 
I went back to just um, listening to some music while I was nodding. So maybe I will try a movie or something today, but I also have another audiobook to listen to, so maybe not. <laughs> Okay, so now we are technically done our flower and the pattern does repeat itself. So at the end of this flower, it shows two just plain lines of background. So that's what I'm going to do. Zoom you guys out a bit so we can see what it looks like from a distance. And I'm just going to do my forwards knots left to right with my background color here. And now I can move it a little more straight. Yeah, I kind of have to put it at an angle because like, as you can see, like this is my tripod legs. So they kind of get in the way. And when I'm that zoomed in, I have to like put it on an angle so you guys can still be in frame. So if you find the angle a little odd, that is why. And I apologize. Also, holy smokes, guys. We're nearly at 300 subscribers already. I feel like I just hit 200, like, I don't know, the end of last month, and we're already almost at 300, so that's so exciting. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. I think that's so cool, because I didn't really expect it to, I don't know, you just, you never really expect it to reach big numbers. You're kind of like, yep, I'll upload this and maybe two people will watch it, but I think that's crazy that we're reaching that many people and I'm able to, you know, help people out with their crafts and stuff. And some of you guys have been leaving awesome comments and I'm so glad like a couple people commented on the shark alpha video that it's the only tutorial that was able to help them with alphas. So that's really cool to me. I appreciate you guys leaving your comments and um, questions and stuff on the videos. I definitely enjoy seeing that I've helped you guys learn something or even um, one of you, I believe, I wanna say your name is Maya, has been telling me that she's just watching the videos while she's making her bracelets, which is so cool too, just saying like, Yep, I'm here, I'm listening, this is cool, I like your videos, I'm just making my own bracelets. So that's awesome too. And now I'm working right to left for this final row here and we're just doing backwards knots. So basically all I'm saying is, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. And doing all the YouTube things. I do appreciate it. So there we are. That is the entirety of pattern number 18896. 
from Bracelet Book. Um, this is what it looks like. See? It's technically a daisy pattern, but like I said, I've used like all my black and white, so um, <laughs> it's now a brown eyed Susan. So I think that turned out really cute. At this point, you can repeat the flower if you want, put it on a keychain. I think I'm going to complete this as a bracelet. And I will perhaps come back and show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. All right, so I went ahead and finished the length of my bracelet and I actually decided I hadn't done an actual alphabet bracelet in a while. So I did two flowers on either end from our pattern and then I just winged some letters in the middle here and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Ironic because the bracelet says happy. So right now I have gone ahead, I've already done the ties here and for each tie I've split my string into two sections and you'll if you guys have watched some of my tutorials I explain how to do it in some of my other tutorials. Um, you split your string into two sections, twist your strings one way and then wrap them around each other in the opposite direction. But right now I've done the ties on both ends. Obviously the bracelet in the middle is done. We just need to trim off our excess little strings. And for that, I have a pair of nail clippers so I can get right up and close to the bracelet. And like I said, I did just wing the text on this. I just made it up as I was going. So I will post a little uh, chart picture on the screen here. And you guys can pause and check it out if you wanted to use the same uh, text and do something similar with yours. But I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. I always think it's kind of funny because when I'm nodding on the screen, I have this flat on the desk or on the kitchen table. So when I nod, you can totally tell this one from this one. So this one, I'll have the book angled against my legs because I'm tying off screen. And I always think this second one looks so much neater and it was the same for the shark bracelet too, but that's okay. So there we have it. Using the daisies from pattern 18896, uploaded by Greta off bracelet book. And I thought this turned out really cute. I just, I didn't think I wanted a bracelet full of just flowers. So sometimes when you see a repeating pattern like this, you could change it up a bit. Um, there's lots of fonts and stuff on bracelet book if you want a different word. But like I said, I will add a chart to the screen here somewhere. So if you are interested in making a bracelet exactly like this, you guys certainly can. But there you are. If you guys have any questions or you have any comments about this tutorial, please leave them down below and I will try and help you guys out as much as possible. And also, if you have any suggestions for what pattern we should do next, let me know as well. All right guys, until next time, bye-bye.